forward to having an electric dryer, too. Just think. Then we'd have a complete electric laundry. We! We? What? Oh, goodbye, old wash day. That's why the we. Really, sweetie. Come on now, eat your lunch. You'll feel better. I feel fine. It's yummy. Oh, I just love bacon crisp and crunchy like this. Honey, stop wolfing your food. No one's going to take it away from you. Sorry, sweetie, but it's really your fault. You shouldn't make them so good. Oh, I almost forgot a letter from Bob. Another letter? I thought he was coming home tomorrow. He is. He wrote to say he's bringing a friend with him. What does he say? About the friend, I mean. Is he tall, dark, and handsome, I hope? Well, here's what he says. Alex is a real great guy, even though he's serious-minded and tops in all his classes. He's got a job lined up with a construction gang near us, and I knew you wouldn't mind if he spent a few days with me, since it's the end of the term. Say, pretty dull. Alex has little time for girls. I knew it. I bet he doesn't even dance. And is quite a woman hater in his way. Well, well. For Pete's sake, wouldn't you know that goon brother of mine would bring home something that lives under a rock? Judy, I do wish you'd speak English like normal human beings. Besides, I'm sure Mr. Phipps is a very nice young man. I know. But just because Bob is a book cook, there's no reason he has to bring another one home with him. Well, we'll see. Oh, there's a special message for you. And be sure and tell Judy to keep her grimy little paws off of my friend. He's got no time for babies. Hmm. What's his name again? Alexander Phipps. Alexander Phipps? Sounds revolting. Whatever made my dear brother think I'd be interested in a character with a name like that? As far as Mr. Alexander Phipps is concerned, he'll be left alone, strictly alone, and with the greatest of pleasure. Judy, is it about time you got dressed here? I'm dressed. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Go put on a dress before they get here. After him? Okay, but nobody named Alexander Phipps would ever notice what I had on. Jeepers! Is he cool? Really cool. Judy, Mother! They're here! And look at me, I'm a mess! Well, what do you care? Remember? His name is Alexander Fitz. Oh, wait till I get that brother of mine alone. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Oh, gee, it's good to be home. Oh, Mom, this is Alex. Hello, Alex. We're very happy to have you with us. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Adams. It's nice of you to have me. 
Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You're the twin without the Tony. Uh, Alec, this is the little sister I was telling you about, uh, Judy Alexander Phipps. How do you do, Mr. Phipps? So nice you could come. Oh, thanks, Judy. And the name is Alex. Did you boys have your lunch? Oh, no. We didn't want to miss another one of your meals. Besides, uh, we wanted to catch a shower. Well, okay, run along then. I'll have everything ready by the time you get back. Right. Oh, Mom, how about some of those hot biscuits of yours, hmm? All right, hot biscuits. Judy will make them for you. Judy? Well, I didn't know she could... Come on out. Oh, that sounds real good, and thanks. Mother, you do the biscuits, huh? Well, it'll only take you a moment, Judy. Thanks, Angel. I think I will throw on a dress. More ladylike, don't you think so? Yes, dear, but Alexander Phipps will never notice that. <laughs> You're a doll, Mother. Sure do get a smooth shave with this electric razor. Hope your dad won't mind. No, you won't mind a bit. He always lets me use it when I'm home. Dad's a swell guy. You'll like it. Hey, you're not running out of hot water, are you? What? I said, you're not running out of hot water, are you? I stayed under quite a long time. Oh, don't worry about that. Where do you see the electric water heater, Dad got it? Well, loaded now. We have plenty of hot water all the time. Hey, Bob. Yeah? I thought you said your sister was just a little kid. Don't let her fool you. She's still a little monster. Hey, you look mighty pretty. Now, about that food. Food? Is that all you can think of at a time like this? Besides, don't change the subject. I ought to wring your smug little neck. What's the matter now? What have I done? Studious, serious-minded. What are you talking about? Tops in all his classes. Now, Judy, Alex is really a guy who... Well, that's little time for girls. Now, wait a minute. Let me explain. And a woman-hater to boot. I think you're a... a stinker. Why do girls have to have brothers? I love you, too. Now simmer down, sis. It's the truth. Alex really has no time for girls. Especially you. Flattery will get you nowhere. Just watch, Junior. Hi, Alex. I know you're hungry. You'll be eating in a jiffy. Excuse me. Everything's ready, Judy. Come and get it! Sit down, boys. Come on, Alec. Make yourself at home. Sorry to put you to all this trouble, Mrs. Adams, but it does smell good. No trouble at all, Alec. Everything's so easy with an electric range. Possibly I'm prejudiced, but seems the food tastes better, too. Say, I hate to be corny, beautiful, but what's cooking? Stew. Beef stew. Oh. Mom knows how you love it. Wonderful. It's my favorite dish. Hot biscuits. Mother mm. made them. I'll get it, Mom. Throw it till you smear it, Doc. <laughs> Thanks. Did he arrive? Man, he's positively frantic. A real cool Jonah. Tall, good-looking, nothing at all like the drips around school. Uh-huh. And he drives a real shafty convertible. He really has it. Oh, when he looks at me, I get, you know, squishy. This afternoon? Oh, that's a wonderful idea. What time? Okay, bye. Well, that stew was really a production, Mrs. Adams. Can we help with the dishes? Uh-huh. No KP duty around here, Sergeant. Strictly automatic. See? Oops. Some in here already, Mom. That's all right, dear. Just put them in with the others. Right. Oh, wait a minute, Bob. Why not do it the easy way? Excuse me, Mom. 
That used to be my job at home, washing the dishes, I mean. Oh, Bob and Judy can have their share, too. But thank heaven, no more washing and wiping dishes around here. And the dishwasher uses such hot water, you couldn't possibly put your hands in it. Well, sure. That makes the dishes hygienically clean. I'll put the heat well cooker in when I do the next load. Nothing to it, is there? What? Okay, beautiful. Uh, now, don't forget to call me, will you? Right. Sally phoned and asked me to go for a swim. Thought you might like to come along and bring Alex. Oh, thanks. But I think Alex is going to be busy. Busy doing what? Now, look, small fry, don't give me any trouble. All I know is he's seeing a man at the Northwest Machine Works on a matter of hydraulics. Why don't you ask him yourself? Thanks. I will. And the circulating air completely dries them. My, you certainly know all about dishwashers. Oh, not all. But to tell the truth, Mrs. Adams, anything of a mechanical or electrical nature interests me. Fits in with a hobby of mine. Dishwashers? <laughs> not exactly. Time study. Figuring out how to do things better, in less time and with less work. Time study. Sounds interesting. <clears throat> and does going for a swim sound interesting, Alex? It's a swell day for us. Oh, it is at that, Judy. And it, well, it'd be great, but well, could we make it some other time? I have an appointment this afternoon with an engineer. As a matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I came home with Bob. Hey, and I'd better hurry, too. Oh. Thanks for the lunch, Mrs. Adams, and have a good swim, Judy. How do you like that? He'd rather fiddle with a, a hydraulic or something than go swimming with me. You heard him say he had a previous engagement, dear. Well, I just don't believe it. I'll bet Bob put him up to this. Brothers! I'll do the nylon things next, Judy. Okay, Mom. Isn't it wonderful how this washer does all these heavy things? Imagine, pillows, bedspreads, blankets. Uh-huh. Judy, it isn't as bad as all that, dear. Sorry, Mother. I, I was just thinking. Thinking? About what? Oh, you know, thinking how awful wash day used to be for you before you had the electric water heater and the washer. Now, wait a minute, dear. And about how much easier it'll be when you get your electric ironer and dryer. You don't fool me for one moment, young lady. What on earth has happened now? Oh, it's Alex. I mean, Mr. Alexander Phipps. All he's interested in is mechanics and electricity. Maybe if I were a, a motor or something, he'd pay attention to me. He's a serious young man, Judy. Your father admires him very much. So do I. I mean, I've practically thrown myself at him, trying to make his stay pleasant. But does he like to dance or go to the movies? No. He just wants to talk about logarithms, mental stresses, heat exchanges, I don't know what all. From now on, as far as I'm concerned, he's just a schnookle. And what, may I ask, is a schnookle? Something to be left strictly alone. And take engineering. Electrical, mechanical, most any kind. Think of what still can be done in the field of research. For new ways of doing things. For the generation of power, the distribution of power, and the design of new machines. Why, Mr. Adams, some of those large generators I've seen have the rhythm of music. Music, Alex? Do you like music? Alex was speaking about the music of machinery, Judy. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> but I do like music. Very much. Swell. The records are right in the cabinet. Well, is it okay with you, sir? Sure, kids. Go ahead. Well, thank you. Pick something groovy, Alex.
rhythm of big generators. These berries are simply divine, and they'll taste even more divine next winter, if there are any left for the freezer. <coughs> Remember what it was like, Judy, before we got the freezer? Sure do. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Berries, corn on the cob, peaches, peas, lima beans, meat, cakes, pies. Oh, it's dreamy. The money we saved is pretty dreamy, too. There it is, practically ready to put on the table. Yep, pretty dreamy. Mother. Yeah? Do you think it would be all right if I went to the dance tomorrow night with Eddie Brown? Oh, when do you ask him? Oh, he hasn't yet exactly. Alex has asked me to go to a stuffy old lecture with him. You said you'd go? You said we should do everything to make it stay pleasant, but I'd still rather go to the dance. Judy, if you promised Alex you'd go to the lecture with him, you'd go to the lecture with him, and that's all there is to it. Well, all right, but he sure gives me the reds. Gives you the what? Burns me up, makes me mad. Oh. Is there anything else I can do, Mother? Not for now, dear. Thanks for the help with the berries. Strictly a snap. Besides, they're good. Oh, Judy, I almost forgot. Sally phone. Okay, Mom. See you later. Gives me the reds. Really. <laughs> anyway, that's what Johnny said. Jeepers, these towels are soft and fluffy. You can say that again. Jeepers, these towels are soft and fluffy. All right, all right. <laughs> but they'd never get this soft and fluffy flapping on a clothesline. Must be a relief not to hang out clothes anymore. Watch, this is Mother. Any day can be wash day now. My electric dryer saves me miles of walking and tons of carrying in a year. <laughs> no kidding, though. This little old dryer sure gets things done in a hurry. Man, oh man. Man. That's what I'm through with. Or at least one man in particular. Alexander Phipps. Oh? What's with you? Well, at first I thought he was real gone. Really a big wheel. Then for a while I thought my dear brother just made up all this guff about Alex being a bookworm. But now I find out he really is a character. Well, it isn't the first time a big wheel turned out to be just a hubcap. And while you're wheeling around at the dance, I'll be sitting out a lecture with a hubcap. <laughs> a lecture about mushrooms. Well, there must be some mechanical problem connected with the lecture, if Alex wants to go. Growing mushrooms under artificial conditions. Well, after all, the lecture may be very interesting. Yes, Mother. Mushrooms. Mechanical problems. Time study. Food. What did you say, Mother? Judy, I have an idea. Yes? I remember your father. The trouble I had with him. Seemed as if nothing I did would interest him until I... Until what, Mother? Until I discovered how much he enjoyed good food. Oh. Well, the way to a man's heart, Judy. Oh, Mother, that's corny. Everyone likes good food. I know, dear, but I'm thinking of something else, too. It'll take a little conspiracy. Conspiracy? A nice little conspiracy for a nice young man. You remember I decided not to go to the Garden Club dinner tomorrow night because of Alexander's visit? Well, I've changed my mind. I'm going. And you can find out for yourself whether Mother knows best. Now, here's what we'll do. Need anything before I leave, Judy? I don't think so, Mother. 
Now, how long did you say it would take this dinner to cook? Well, let's see. Your dinner should cook for an hour and a half at 350 degrees. Wait a sec, sweetie. Let me make with the mathematics. I'm going to dash over to Sally. She's going to sit in my hair. It's almost 3 o'clock now. You'll eat at 6.30, and your dinner takes an hour and a half to cook. Let me see. Set the timer to stop cooking at 6.30 and to cook for an hour and a half. Then I flip the set switch so it'll go out automatically. Turn the temperature dial to 350. And then I'm off to Sally's. Okay? Absolutely right. Oh, glad I remembered to take the ham out of the freezer this morning. Oh, I wish you weren't going out. Do you think everything will be all right? Of course, darling. It'll be lovely. Now, don't you worry. This isn't the first meal you've cooked, you know. No, but it's the first meal I ever cooked for Alex. If I know Alex, he'll be pleasantly surprised and impressed. I have to hurry, dear. I have things to do. Hey, what's a four-letter word for nuisance? What? Four-letter word for nuisance. Oh, that's easy. J-U-D-Y. Well, I'm off. Oh, where are you going, Mom? Can we give you a lift, Mrs. Adams? No, thanks, boys. I don't know just what time I'll be back tonight, so I'm taking the car. Tonight? What about dinner? Oh, Judy's taking care of that. Judy? Why, Judy can't even boil water without burning. Hey, maybe we'd better get on a hamburger Harry's. At least we'll get something to eat. Go right ahead, but you'll be sorry. Why, I wouldn't think of missing one of Judy's dinners. Thank you, Alex. You shouldn't tease her so, dear. Oh, Mom, I was only needling her. Well, don't overdo it. You'll give her the reds. <laughs> well, that sounds interesting, Alex. You know, mushrooms are big favorites of mine. Well, as I understand it, there's quite an air conditioning problem involved. Oh, I don't think that would be too much of a problem. You know what... Oh, dear. Well, you can always give it a try, Mr. Adams. Excuse me, sir. Lady in distress. Shiver. Trouble, Judy? Can I help? It's the mixer. It just won't work. Well, let me take a look. <laughs> there we are. Plug slipped out. That's all. Well, how do you suppose that happened? Just one of those things. First thing you do when an appliance doesn't work is find out if it's plugged in. That's the trouble most of the time. Is that what time study is? No. But are you interested in time study? Well, Mother was telling me that you... Oh, yeah. It's a hobby of mine. I'd love to hear about it. Oh, take your kitchen. Ever noticed anything about it? No. Well, there's the electric range, the electric sink, the garbage disposer, and dishwasher, and the refrigerator, and the freezer. Exactly. All wonderful helps. Now, here's something you probably never thought about, Judy. A kitchen today is like a factory in a lot of ways. Well, the product can only be good if the right tools are used. So, modern factories use the best machinery that money can buy. As a result, the work is done faster, better, and easier. Just as it is in a modern kitchen. See what I mean? Oh, yes. And you're so smart about all these things. Not really, Judy. It's just that I'm interested in. I'd like to make a study of them. Oh, now here's another thing. Not only are the best tools important, but everything connected with their use is taken into consideration. See how they're placed? Just like machines in our factory. Straight line production. Well, they're not set this way just for looks. They're placed this way for a definite purpose. To save work, time, and unnecessary steps. Golly, I'm so impressed. It's called time and motion study. 
Come here. Take your home freezer. Full of fresh frozen foods. Well, there's a definite saving of time and money. And right next to it, the refrigerator. Keeps day-to-day -day food in perfect freshness. And the dishwasher, now there's a machine that does away with a chore that everybody hates. And again, right next to it, the garbage disposer. Very convenient. The electric range, practically an automatic cook, right? And only a few steps from where the food is kept. Notice how it all adds up to one important thing? What? Consideration for the housewife. Even that mixer's a big work saver. Oh, go away, what cream. Imagine having to do that the hard way, by hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I hope you brought your appetite with you. Oh, I certainly did, sir. The table looks beautiful, Judy. Oh, yes, thank sir. You, Alex. It certainly looks <laughs> lovely. Beautiful. Well, here's to Judy. To Judy. Well, I brought along my appetite, too, so let's sample it. That's for me, sir. How about you, Bob? Oh, but quick. <laughs> Just a small piece for the boy at the end. <laughs> A perfect dinner, Judy. And you said she couldn't boil water without burning it. <laughs> it's me. Pineapple juice, chilled just right. And that ham steak, oh, brother. Creamy potatoes, buttered lima beans, and that wonderful cherry pie with whipped cream. All right, all right. I think we ought to make him eat all his meals at Hamburger Harry's for that. <laughs> <laughs> A delicious meal, Judy, and I'm very proud of you. Yep, Judy, you did all right. Thanks. But I can't take all the credit. Our kitchen does everything but talk. <laughs> now, uh, about that lecture. Oh, I don't know. After such a wonderful meal, I'd fall asleep in a lecture. I thought maybe... How'd you like to go dancing? Dancing? Oh, Alex, how dreamy! Okay. Well, let's get going on the dishes. And, Bob, you can take in the lecture if you want. No, thanks. I'm going to watch TV tonight. A lot of good shows. Now, don't you young folks worry about the dishes. There's no trouble around here, you know. Oh, Dad, you're a doll. Come on, Alex. See you later. Good night. Here, let me give you a hand with these, Dad. Okay, son. Oh, hello there. Well, how'd it go? Big success? Tremendous success. We've got quite a girl there, Mother. Quite a girl. What are those? Oh, tickets to a lecture. You want to go with me? Alex left them. Something about growing mushrooms under artificial conditions. I might find out how to grow them in the basement. Say, I could move your lawn. Oh, right? no, you don't. Uh-uh. Really, Harry, this is the end. <laughs>